Storms once again drench our area. The city is taking action after a series of bizarre problems caused by the weather. One of them happened over the weekend. A giant sinkhole opened up on the Upper West Side, taking part of an SUV with it. And you certainly can't forget that. Rosendale is in Washington Heights right now with what the city's doing. Gus. Yeah, Chuck, hard to forget that image of the guy trying to wade through the water. I think he was wearing a garbage bag at one point. At this point, in terms of the weather, the rain holding off right now. But as you mentioned, we've been tracking two incidents where rain from above has been causing trouble below the ground. Our first stop, the sinkhole at Riverside in 89th Street. We talked with a neighbor who was happy she moved her car shortly before the ground gave way. I think I was very lucky that I moved my car, and I hope this is the end of it. Another neighbor says last week's storm brought down a tree Thursday, and he speculates its loosened root system, along with all that rushing water, eventually led this Upper West Side Street to collapse and partially sink two cars Sunday. The Department of Environmental Protection and other city agencies on scene today, checking for any other drainage issues in the area. From the uh, Department of Transportation, he said that what happens is when the water comes, it kind of pushes the dirt and, you know, it loosens it. And who could forget this soggy subterranean saga? Flash flooding Thursday, turning subway stops like this one at 157th Street and Broadway into a sewer. This is my stop. I thought, yeah, it looked like you needed a boat to go to there. MTA crews were here in Washington Heights today, setting up a temporary blockade across the street from where that flooding happened. They say this work is not directly linked to the flooding, but is part of ongoing maintenance at a station that has seen its 100th birthday come and go. What did you think? You use those stairs all the time, I think. I'm like, I'm not going in that dirty water. That's it. Mm -mm. The MTA says flooding like this is highly unusual and drains away relatively quickly. These locations that, that were hit the hardest this time were not known flood locations. So it was a challenge for us. Um, but I think I think right now we're prepared and that we have not only at the locations that are known to us, but even at these locations that aren't known, we have pumps staged um, there as well. So we have a number of people out on on the on the on the on the scene to this evening that will be prepared to uh, to respond as necessary. And those people will be equipped with things like chainsaw to clear up any debris that includes subway lines and also commuter lines. And just on cue here, Chuck and Natalie, we felt the drop of rain come down. We are live in Washington Heights. I'm Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York.